Okay, so today's video is going to be converting an image from the Xtool D1 Pro to the Xtool F1. Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna start splitting it up so that it can fit where the Xtool F1 will print. Just move it down. Then you can see what fits, what doesn't fit, what you need to move. Okay. So. Okay, so what you're going to see me do now is just work on rearranging the image so that it fits in the frame of the Xtool F1, which would be anything within the white box. And then what I'll do is I will arrange the bottom images, even though they aren't in the white box yet, but I know that I want them to match what's in the top in the box right now. So basically, I'm going to line everything up inside and outside of the box. And the what's outside of the box is going to be my bottom of the cup. So I'm going to end up copying that and then deleting it and then saving it as a separate file with the name bottom Western or something. And then the first one I would save as the name top Western. All right, so when I test new designs, I do have trash cups um, that maybe got messed up in another order. So I'm gonna test it on this first before I test it on another cup. Okay, so we've got that on. <clears throat> I do already know I'm going to start with the pegs on the top because like I showed you earlier, every time I start, my starting points just need to be as closely lined up as possible. So I just use the pegs so that I know the starting point will be the same. All right, you wanna get the dots as close as possible to being right on top of each other. Sweet. Okay, so this cup is going to be printed in two sections. And here we are just framing what's going to be our top print. So I wanna get it as close to the bottom of the lip of the cup as possible and then it's usually right above where the cup slants down and so we're just gonna have to adjust it a little bit before we print that um, and then I'm just also making sure that it goes in a full circle so it has to reach my pencil marks so I know okay, it's going so in a we're full gonna circle. Go ahead. We have framed it and we'll go and ahead just and start that. Start. Says to push the button on the side. Okay, so that turned out really awesome, and I'm really happy with that. The wrap looks good, and then we're gonna go ahead and frame the bottom. Be All right, so now that the top is done, it's really hard to see, but I'm going to put the light on my pencil mark and I'm going to scooch my cup all the way down here. Then I'm going to bring this and put that underneath. Make sure it's not going to move while my cup is printing. 
And I'm just gonna straighten everything out and reframe it so that my next layer is going to start right here. And, and oh, shoot. <laughs> thanks. It's gonna start right here and finish right here. All right, and then we're just gonna copy and paste the bottom half that we had originally mm -hmm. copied. Okay, so this one's gonna look slightly different from the top half, because this is the one we copied. And now we pasted it, and we'll save it as its own file too. So I usually put F1 bottom, F1 top. If I have a print that I have to split up, then we'll frame it. Okay, now for the second half, you really wanna make sure that it starts right at the bottom. And this is gonna be, watch the Longhorn's nose there. You see, it's like perfect. Yes. And then I don't normally adjust the speed. I don't make it slower um, for the bottom. I'll usually just do two layers um, because it just doesn't print as well as the top on the first try but for this cup i'm not going to do a dual print because i'm really just trying to make sure that the design looks great okay so let's go ahead and process that all right here's just a top view okay and then something i forgot to mention was just that the top half actually only took 22 minutes. And the bottom is usually going to be, you know, 30 minutes after you do the two takes. Um, and then if you use the D one, I'm looking at like a little over two hours in the least for a cup with the same design. So it's done. We're going to take it off the roller. Check it out. So there's our pencil mark. Looks awesome.